Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make this cute little gift item. This is also a jewelry box or a gift item to your friend. Let's see how to make this jewelry box. You can say it anything. Uh, I have taken some paper cups. You will need three paper cups. First, take one paper cup and a pencil and a tape. Any tape. I have taken this small sized cellophane tape. Keep your pencil like this and the paper cup. The paper cup should be upside down and see how I am making line this will be even if you do like this this will be even for that only this is a method if you rotate the cup the pencil will automatically move to the same place see this is so even because of the pencil and tape now using a cutter you should cut it i'll tell you See friends, using a cutter like this. Okay, don't use scissor. Because the scissor if you cut means you cannot cut like this. Just in the line cut it using this cutter. If you cut using this means in the cutter, this will be even. And see how it is. Now you need a piece of paper. In that using some glue just stick this one. This is for the... Uh, cup cups hold cups closer now in this area just apply some gum if you apply gum in the thicker side this side only then only you can close the uh, it will be proper to close the cup what we are making after this that is the main jar for this this is just a closer cap lid like something now just stick this lightly force it if you lightly force it itself it will take time so let this dry keep it aside after it dries we will paint it so again take a cup and we did for the last cup no like this measured and just cut it with the cutter do the same for this cup also but you should not stick that that is not for lid this is for the stiffness i will tell you this also you should cut with this cutter only i have did the same thing for this cup see friends i cut it out now take a scissor and uh, in all the paper cups, they will have given a um, line in the middle, in somewhere. In that line, just cut this, like this. And uh, fit it like this. Uh, just first, uh, keep and see. If it is so loose, no. Cut 1 inch or, or 2 inch, something. I am cutting little bit like this. This will be little hard. Now we will fit. No, then also it is loose. So you should cut little more. Now we will fit. Now it is perfect. Now stick it like this. The uh, thick border should be uh, front. And this should be like this. When it comes down, it will like, be like even. See, like this, we will stick it. See, friends, I just stuck this. Keep it aside. Now, in a palette, add some dark brown paint. If you have that shiny paint, means just add it. Now, in, to this paint, add few drops of water to make it thin. I just added acrylic. This should be like this. Some little bit thinner. If you paint with sponge, no, the paint won't take too much amount. But if you paint with a brush, it will take too much amount. So for that, I have taken this. Uh, already I have told you, in a, take this sponge. Any sponge, just make it round. 
and in the brush just insert it if you have duster means that also you can just cut it in the square and you can just do that using your hands itself you will need to give two coats like this you should do in the edges alone you can just use the brush see give two coats after dry I will. as i told you i just painted it with the sponge see how evenly it spread it didn't take me so much paint it took me less paint now uh for in the beginning we stuck uh, for the lid no now i have taken that and cut it like this in the edge like this if you cut means it would be even See, in the edge we have some non-even thing that and all you can just cut it and that's it our lid is ready for this also you should paint as the same method using the sponge only let us paint so friends this is the last cup as I said you will need three cups uh, and this is the last cup for this we are going to paint yellow color uh, i have taken two color combinations that is brown and this yellow color if you have if you don't have these two colors you can also use your favorite color which you like uh, red yellow or red orange any combinations you can also use the shiny brown and the golden color in the combinations of these two colors also you can use as the same way in the palette just add some yellow paint and paint it using the sponge like this also you can just spread it paint it fully see friends I painted it fully now using a scissor just cut the thicker layer no that only we are going to cut just cut and keep it ready hey friends now I just cut that thick layer and using the tape and the pencil as we did for the first cup as the same I just made a line now cut till that line only not more than that into strips like this cut totally see friends I just cut that if you if you are going to do it thinner no that will take two time but if you are doing thicker means it will take uh, five minutes only if you do it thinner it you will take maximum 10 minutes i just cut till the end so that it can fold if you do it in the edge it will fold but it won't look nice now what we are going to do is the double layer we stuck no that one i am going to take down just apply some glue in this side in this edge apply some glue and just stick this after sticking no we will do it like this we will stick it like this see this should be like curved it should not be flat it should be curved after making it curve, I will show you, see that. See friends, this dried completely. In some, some space, I we have some gum because it didn't dry. In little bit only it didn't dry, but it dried completely. See, like some uh, space only it didn't dry. Now, in this, you can gift, give this to someone or you can also store something. See, I am keeping some mini paper clips in this. And this also fits in. See. See. This fits. This will be a beautiful gift for your friend or your relative. You can give this 
to anybody for their birthday or any occasions like share comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye